The following is an audiovisual retelling of The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Minor edits to the visuals and original script have been made as not to spoil the actual movie. Please enjoy. Buster finishes the song as he travels the town's one dusty street. He puts up his guitar, now entering. Frenchman's Gulch. This town is new to me. It's everything he could have hoped for. Smoky air, flocked wallpaper, somewhere a piano playing and several tables set about where men play cards. The place is crowded with drinkers, poker players, hell raisers. Hold on, son. The voice belongs to a man behind a small counter by the swinging doors. He indicates a small sign on the wall. Check your guns at the door. How's policy? Buster amiably unhitches his gun belt. He bends down to pull a derringer from each boot. You'll be wanting the senorita pistols as well? Everything. How's policy? Feel a bit naked, but I guess with everyone similarly disadvantaged, there's scant chance of mishad pension. As he strolls away, a man rising at a nearby table and tossing down his cards. I'm out. Well, this is well-timed. Do you gentlemen mind if I take his spot? A surly man directly across answers. If and you play his hand. Buster picks up the five face down cards and looks. Aces and eights. A beat. I would prefer not to. Another man in a vest and with a small neatly waxed mustache has a French accent. Too late. You have regarded the cards. You seen him. You play it. I ain't any. The other hombre aren't it. You sing them. You play them. And if an adult? The surly man rises. He has a gun in his hand. He aims it across the table. You play them cards, fancy Dan. The table, the entire establishment, falls silent. Can't no one compel another man to engage in recreation? Certainly not a son of a gun as ill-humored as yourself. He rises slowly, holding his hands away from his sides as a sign that he is unarmed. And as for names, my horse is Dan. I'm Buster. Buster Scruggs. Buster Scruggs? The run from Riata Pass? He pulls back the hammer on the gun, smiling. And this pistol. Buster looks at the gun, then looks at the man. I do hail from Riata Pass, which is in the county of San Saba, being the which why the San Saba songbird is my sobriquet of preference. But right now, I'd appreciate it if you'd deposit your weapon in the receptacle by the swinging doors, which concealing of it on your person in the first place was a violation of the rules of this establishment and an offense against local norms. The surly man chuckles. He aims the gun toward the middle of Buster's chest. And if and I don't. Buster raises one leg and stamps smartly on the near side of the table. The far side flips up, knocking the man's gun hand upward to discharge into his face. The table settles and the hand drops, still clutching the gun. The surly man's face is half shot away. Buster stamps two more times in quick succession, slamming the gun hand up for two more shots. The Frenchman is spattered with blood. The ceiling gets in splat of blood and brains. The man lingers on his feet long enough for us to look at his chewed away face, then drops. A hard man nearby looks on in shock. He is Ike. I'm not a devious man by nature, but when you're unarmed, your tactics might gotta be downright Archimedean. 
We have lost him. He lurches tearfully over to Buster. You killed my brother. You cowardly son of a bitch. Gunned him down when he wasn't hardly looking. Now I can cut you a little slack. Breathing as you are, but the fact is, Buster Struts don't shoot nobody in the back. And that sorry sack of bones was more in the nature of a suicide. Ike is taken aback. Your Buster Struts? The West Texas twit? For the first time, Buster loses his smile. I assume you meant West Texas tit, on account of that particular bird's mellifluous warble. Call yourself any damn name you please. I want to see you outside. Where 